Hey guys. Hey Cam. It's so good to see you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Cam, I'm still laughing, dying laughing about that granola video. Hey John. So guys, Kim, Kim Perina, she, uh, when I lived here the first time, when I was in Arizona the first time, I um, lived and breathed fitness. That was my uh, first career. And I used to teach cooking classes and I loved doing it. And I really was like, oh my God, if I could only have a cooking show. Um, and Kim was so kind to come over to my house and she filmed me. Um, just cooking a bunch of recipes and granola was like my thing, my favorite thing to cook. And so Kim, I will forever, I get giddy every time I watch that video. I think it was 2010, maybe 2012. We tried, are you kidding? It was so good, the video was so good. Guys, if you want to see my videos, Kim, I'm not taking anything down. Everything is on YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel, just search Laura Madden and you'll find all my cooking videos. I think we had some fitness videos too. Um, all right guys, so uh, the pink button still says live, so I'm, I'm thinking we're live. I'm thinking we're good to go. Um, hopefully, uh, I'm not gonna get cut off again, but I don't know, I've been having so many weird issues with my Wi-Fi. My husband is working like on the other side of this wall. Never has problems. <laughs> Never has problems, I don't know what the deal is. I, I just like attract these tech problems, but I should stop saying that, because I want this to, <laughs> you need to try, yes, Kim. You, Kim, girl, it's almost like been 10 years. You haven't tried the freaking recipe yet? Oh my God, it is so good. It's high protein, low glycemic index. I think there's like no sugar. Oh my God. So guys, all right, we're live. I think, I think we're good to go. I'm Laura Madden. Welcome to Refashion Talk Live. This is my, um, this is the product of the pandemic. Um, my Instagram Live series. I'm here every Monday and Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Refashion Talk is where I talk about just reinventing our relationship to fashion and how, how much in need is that right now? Like majorly, majorly. And, um, but using fashion to make ourselves feel good and, making, and using fashion to do good for the planet. Um, it's doable, guys. All that merging of sustainability and style, I'm here to tell you it is real and it's actually really fun. So hey, Deanna Dupree, who cares? Chronicles, thanks for being here, you guys. So we Fashion Talk Live, here we are. Um, guys, I am gonna be doing my art demo on my other Instagram, my art Instagram, where I do upcycled art. It's at refashioned art. I will post that in the stories after this. If anyone wants to see my art demo, um, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's gonna be real short and sweet today. I don't know how much I'm gonna do because it is actually going to be a chill 111 degrees today in Arizona. And um, I don't have AC in my studio. Can you believe it? We gotta, we gotta change that. Like, we gotta change that. I had one of those portable AC units for um, like the last year. It just doesn't, man, it just doesn't do anything. It just, it like never cools it down because the, the structure is not fully insulated. So that might be our next reno project. There's many on our list, but that might be the next one because I need a place to do my art all summer. Um, yesterday I was out there at 5.45 a.m. Although that might be the hour for me because I completed a painting that, that, one more thing, if you join me tonight, 5 p.m., I'm gonna do my happy hour art tour that's live on Instagram right here at I am Laura Madden. Um, please join, please. I have some brand new art I'm showing. The piece I did yesterday at 5.45 in the morning, um, I actually am really loving it and I thought it was only gonna be phase two. I think it's done, but I want you to join because I really want your feedback. I wanna know, because I'm gonna be asking if this piece is done or not, or should I scrap it and start over, or should I keep going? So guys, join me tonight, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for my um, live uh, happy hour art tour. Promise you I will be in a cocktail dress, which you don't wanna miss this one either. Uh, my good friend, Crystal Daniels, the one and only designer treasure hunt. If you follow her on here, you know. Um, she has an amazing eye, she does designer resale. So great day to, uh, a great way rather, to get in on you know, a designer wardrobe at a fraction of the cost while doing great for the planet, shopping secondhand. Anyway, she found me this amazing vintage dress. 
OMG, baby. This is like the Mac Daddy of all like Barbie dresses that I have literally had. I've been manifesting this dress. Crystal, I've been manifesting. <laughs> I've been manifesting this dress since I was like five. I think my Barbie had this dress. Crystal found it. So guys, check her out at Designer Treasure Hunt. And hey, Lena, how are you? So we'll see that tonight, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll be wearing my cocktail dress. And oh yeah, girl. Oh yeah, tonight. Tonight's the night. I'm gonna have my Barbie dress on. And there she is, guys. You gotta, gotta look her up. She's in the comments. Designer Treasure Hunt. I'm gonna have my Barbie dress on. I'm gonna have my cocktail in hand. Crystal, I've renamed her Crystal because she's so fabulous. Um, I, th I think tonight's a night for some Crystal. Uh, how can I manifest that? I don't currently have Crystal in my uh, fridge. I've got some Mum and I've got some Moe, but I really would love some Crystal. That is what I need. That's the drink I need to match this dress, the level of this dress. So, um, so guys, I, I want to thank you all for joining me. I'm not going to really talk too long. Amanda, how are you guys? Another local love. Amanda Jacobs, upcycle designer here in Arizona. She's got a sustainable fashion brand. Look her up, Classic Reclaim. Look her up. She's amazing. Last week, if you watched my um, happy hour art tour, I wore one of her designs on my head and on my body, and it was so, so fun. Um, so guys, I, um, this week has really sucked. I think everybody out there, uh, can agree this week freaking sucked for our country, actually for everybody, everywhere. Um, it just highlights uh, some hate and some real serious ugliness that's going on and it just needs to change and it really sucks. Uh, and my husband and I, we used to live in Minneapolis. We actually lived there twice. <laughs> Uh, granted it wasn't our favorite place to live, but it is a beautiful little nook of the country. And, um, I, I have, there's a lot of nice people there and I actually have some really, really best of my friends live there. And, uh, to see what's happening there is like so disgusting to me. So I hope you guys will keep them in your prayers. It sucks. If nothing else, you know, I hope there's a silver lining, just like all the other shit happening right now, all the other weirdness. I do hope that this incident, this murder will be a catalyst for change. I do hope this will be a turning point for good. People will wake up, you know, at the governmental level and start, uh, I mean, come on guys, we need some help with this. But, um, so I just want to say that I hope everyone will keep, hey Sam, Hey June, I hope everyone will keep uh, Minneapolis in your thoughts and prayers and the whole black community in your thoughts and prayers uh, that things will change for the better. Um, so I wanted to just bring a little positivity here today, uh, hopefully something. So I wore a little extra um, shine. It sure does help me some days to kind of like get uplifted and up and uh, on the better side of the day. So I've got a variety of um, uh, I've got a variety of <laughs> baubles on, mostly old things. This is a great little necklace I upcycled by uh, pulling some old pieces together that were or apart that were broken and putting them together into something new. I love the Art Deco feel of this one. Um, but just, yeah, I've got many things on, many bracelets. I just needed it today, and I tell you, it helps. My favorite ring, antique from the Paris Flea Market. Need a few more of these. I might treat myself soon. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and these awesome earrings, I actually got these at, um, I bought these from an artist when I lived in Arizona the first time at one of the first Friday, uh, first Friday art walks. Um, and I wish I brought, I bought more stuff from that artist and I wish I kept her name because she had some really cool stuff, everything handmade. So, um, so, uh, so this is what I'm wearing today, a uh, thrifted top from Goodwill. I don't even know, maybe it was $5, maybe less, I'm not sure. And then, you know, all these things, mostly thrifted, things I've just collected over the years. Um, and I will show my whole look. I've got this big poofy skirt on and uh, some fabulous shoes from Goodwill. I love these shoes. I just gotta show you because I'm so proud of them. They were actually only a dollar. I love a pointy toe and they are a kitten heel. I mean, seriously love. And they're Stuart Weitzman, one of my favorite brands. Their shoes just fit my feet. Those were one buck. 
one dollar at Goodwill. So um, yeah, I'll show the, I'll share the whole outfit later. Um, sorry guys, I know this is kind of getting into a non-substance worthy <laughs> top, so I apologize for that. But um, I think it's maybe one of those days where I just need to like hear myself talk because I've just uh, the last few days have just been in such a funk. Uh, so anyway, hopefully things are gonna turn around. Um, one thing I want to share that's super exciting, good news. Next um, Monday, June 1st, I am starting the next No New Clothes Challenge. And this is um, in partnership with Remake. And you guys know I talk about Remake all the time on here. Uh, it's a nonprofit based in San Francisco. They work globally. They have a global um, community creating a conscious con consumer movement and also teaching people how to use fashion for good. So they are like, launching this huge 90 day no new clothes challenge kim baby are you with me no new clothes for 90 days now what does that mean so i want to tell you i just put a blog up about this guys because this is something that i mean i kind of live and breathe this anyway challenge or no challenge um but i do want to say something that's interesting when i first started shopping secondhand was which was um summer of 2015 so almost five years ago I remember I actually was hired, kind of took a job on a whim. I needed to do something fun and different. I was recovering from burnout. And uh, I took a job at a uh, uh, thrift store in Minneapolis, actually, when I was living there the last time, as a, a personal shopper and a stylist. They had a very popular program. Uh, Michelle Raven out there, guys, she started a whole new thing, When Thrifters Thrift, here on Instagram, at When Thrifters Thrift. Uh, Michelle Raven, I'm forever grateful to you for taking me on. and. She taught me the ropes. I didn't know a thing about thrifting. I wasn't a thrifter. I had no clue what I was missing out on, but I was finding so much amazing stuff. And it was, it's interesting, that very same month was the month that I actually watched the True Cost documentary. I learned about sustainable fashion. I learned about the dirty little secrets of the fashion industry, and um, I was changed forever. And so I thought, hmm, well, if I'm shopping secondhand, that's not hurting the environment. That's helping the environment. It's reducing waste. It's keeping items from unnecessarily ending up in landfill. It's um, conserving resources. It's lessening the demand on the fashion industry to produce faster and cheaper clothing. So shopping secondhand, guys, there is a massive triple down effect of benefit, of good that you are doing to the fashion industry. So I hope you will take this seriously and I hope you will take me up my offer and at least give it a try. Um, and so anyway, at that time, I thought, hmm, I'll try this out, I'm gonna try this out. And I thought, I'm gonna challenge myself for 30 days. I'm gonna challenge myself for one month, I'm just gonna shop secondhand. And I thought, it's probably gonna suck, I'm probably gonna hate it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna give it a fair shot. And you know what? One month turned into two, turned into three. Before I knew it, I was practically shopping secondhand. I mean, it was like the end of the year and I was like, I've practically only shopped secondhand. Um, it was just, I was finding so much good stuff. It got to the point where there was just no other need to shop anywhere else. I, like, I, it was like, I didn't even enter my mind to shop anywhere else because I found so much amazing stuff. And that's what really got me uh, into vintage because I was finding so much vintage stuff and it's just like the quality is different. They don't make them like they used to guys, they really don't. And so I just, I really fell in love with vintage. I fell in love with secondhand. Um, so voila, here I am. I am a thrift queen. I really am. I hate that word, but it's true. I am. I probably shop about 90, 95% secondhand today. Um, I just, I live and breathe it and I love it. And so part of my mission here is just to demonstrate, you know, this merging, this colliding of sustainability and style and showing, you know, seducing people with the pretty little pictures and the, in the you know, well-styled looks and the well-tailored clothes to, you know, kind of get you interested in secondhand. So Kamsen, hey babe, how are you? Guys, thank you so much for joining. Emily, I love, love, love you. Thank you for being here. I have so many amazing memories with you, girl. I wish you were here. Um, Amanda, exactly, yes, thrift artist. You, Amanda, or me? I think you're the, you're the thrift artist. Uh, Kim, what do you want, what do you do with your clothes you don't want? Well, that's a great question, actually, my dear. My favorite thing, um, well, there's two. 
I prefer selling because statistically clothing that you sell has a higher probability of actually making it into someone's closet, actually being rehomed versus not that I don't want anyone to donate. I'm not discouraging donation for sure not. But when you donate clothes, because a lot of these places are so overwhelmed with donations, there's a greater probability of these items eventually ending up in landfill because of the girth of clothing that's being donated. So if you can sell something consignment or like Buffalo exchange or sell it yourself on Poshmark or Instagram, wherever, there's a greater chance of that item actually being rehomed and kept out of landfill. But I also really, really want to promote swapping or gifting to your friends. Guys, I love doing this, giving something directly to a friend or somebody that you know can use it, will use it, will love it, will wear it, and maybe could benefit from it um, more than you could have. So I love giving things away, but Kim, you bring up a really good point. Um, yeah, it is interesting, and, and, and it's because a lot of these donation centers, the thrift stores, um, charity shops, they are so overwhelmed with donations. They really are, especially since this conduing thing, people have just gone nuts. Now, better to donate than throw your unwanted clothing in the trash for sure. Please do not ever throw textiles into the trash. Guys, when textiles go into landfill and they eventually start breaking down, it releases very toxic gases like methane into the atmosphere. I mean, this is more toxic than carbon when these gases are building up. So please do not put textiles in the trash. Um, again, give them away. Goodwill, I, I really, I highly wanna endorse Goodwill of Arizona. If you're in Arizona, Goodwill of Arizona, they do have their own recycling center. Uh, I know this is not true of all Goodwills in the country, but Goodwill of Arizona, guys, they do have a recycling center, so it's a little different. Uh, so they're, they're taking huge measures to divert, like, you know, tons and tons and tons of textiles from unnecessarily going into landfills. So Goodwill of Arizona, you know I love you um, and will forever endorse them. But um, there are also other recycling centers, ATRS. I'm just gonna put that in the comments. Um, I think it's ATRS.org. Um, if you look them up, they, if you look them up, they, uh, now how do I get this thing off of here? Oh my God, that's so annoying. How do I get my, uh, how do I get my little type pad off of, anybody know? Oh, there we go, good, sorry. That was just gonna drive me bonkers because I couldn't see the comments. So ATRS guys, they're, they're a textile recycling service in the US and they do have donation bins like all over the country. So if you look them up, I believe it's ATRS.org. They're also here on Instagram. Um, if, you, if you search ATRS, it should come up. Or DM me, I'll send you the link. Um, actually, I'll put it in the comments. I'll put it in the, sorry, I'll put it in the uh, my stories later today as well. But please do not throw textiles in the trash. So, okay, yes, Goodwill AD, AZ does it right. You're right, Emily, and I know you know because you lived here and you shop there, and they're awesome. So guys, no new clothes challenge. So please check out Remake at Remake Our World. So again, it's a 90-day challenge. It starts June 1st, which OMG is Monday. Can't believe it. But um, to check them out, we're gonna be doing some lives. I'm gonna be working with them. Uh, I am one of their board members. I am one of their uh, global ambassadors. So I'm really so excited about getting as many people on board as possible. And the whole point of this 90 day challenge, guys, is it's like helping the conscious, helping the masses reinvent their relationship to clothing. And you know, a lot of it, and it's not just about not buying anything, for sure not. I mean, it's just not buying brand new, buying secondhand, swapping with friends. Um, it's, it's just a great way to reduce your environmental impact, to reduce the conscious um, or to reduce the uh, carbon footprint of your closet. So highly, highly, highly side, Amanda, yes. And guys, thank you. So. <laughs> site <laughs> so guys when you sign so remake has a pledge so they're asking people to sign the pledge um to commit to doing no new clothing for 90 days and again you can still shop just shop secondhand guys amanda jacobs she's right here check out her brand classic reclaim she is she's an upcycle designer so she's taking items that you know she finds that maybe would be going into landfill and just like what i do with paintings she gives them a facelift she rips them apart and remakes them into something beautiful, something stylish and something like modern and cool that you're gonna want. So guys, Amanda's brand, I would consider that 
like shopping secondhand. It's not something that's brand new. She's having a positive effect on the environment through her brand. So that's, I highly endorse Amanda. Um, Classic Reclaim, again, you'll find them on here. So guys, um, Chic Daily Magazine, I love you guys. Thank you for being here too, Campson. Um, and you're in your closet. Yes, I'm in my closet. Yes, you need to get in your closet and do this. I told you that. Well, you know I'm in here because it's the only place, one of the only places I can go with somewhat decent light where my husband can't, where we can't hear each other. <laughs> but um, anyway, the light is actually, there's a huge skylight and it's actually really hot. Right now, it's very warm. It's very warm. But anyway, so guys, so back to the no new clothes challenge. Sorry, keep getting so excited by your excitement for a new new clothes challenge. So guys, when you sign the pledge with Remake, you will get also a free item from Swap Society. So Swap Society is a website. It's like a clothing swap, but online. And so you can go on and get a free item from them, which is really cool. You'll get a code uh, to put in at checkout and you can get a free item from Shop Society. So guys, please sign the pledge. Um, go to Remake Our World, Remake Our World here on Instagram. But I'm just super excited about this, guys. And again, you know I live and breathe this. I am doing no new clothes um, no matter what. Yes, I do buy things brand new, but it's v those purchases are very few and far between, and they are extremely, extremely intentional and extremely, like, premeditated. You know, I got to really need something, love something, want it. Um... It's got to be perfect for me to buy something brand new. Seriously, for real. Um, and I, it's just, this is, uh, this, it started as an environmental stance for me. It's still an environmental stance for me. But at the end of the day, I find the best stuff. I just do. I find the best stuff. Shopping vintage, consignment, thrift stores, um, clothing swaps with friends. We're going to be doing that again soon. I, I, I feel it. I feel the good vibes coming on. We are going to be back to getting together um, in groups, parties. And we are going to be clothing swapping soon. Yeah. So guys, all right. So also last thing, and I'm going to talk more about this on Monday because that's the first day of the new new clothes challenge. But, um, so guys, um, if you're going to shop, please shop secondhand. Um, so this does not, and again, this is to your discretion. Of course, I'm not going to go out and buy used socks or underwear. I'm not, I'm not going to buy a used bathing suit. I have bought a used bathing suit top for my sister's closet and I, that was seriously like over 10 years ago and I still wear that bandeau top today. Um, but uh, for the most part, I'm not buying a secondhand bathing suit. So to your discretion, to your discretion, if you wanna take this challenge and do it 50% of the time uh, or you know 75% of the way, great. Every bit matters. Every move you make matters. Every little bit counts. I want you to know that. I want you to take it seriously. Every bit matters. So even if you take this challenge and you only go 50%, great that's something and it is having a positive impact on the environment i guarantee that i really do believe that um so it again this is your discretion if you're buying gifts for people your discretion guys um it's to your comfort level but just remember you are making a difference you're making a positive difference for the environment and again slowing down the demand on the clothing industry to manufacture faster and cheaper clothing so this is really, really important. So Chic Daily Magazine, fun. Are you in, girl? Chic Daily Magazine, are you in? Are you doing the 90-day No New Clothes Challenge with Remake? Please, I hope you are. Um, so guys, last thing I wanna say, Remake. So as a global ambassador, every month we have a global ambassador call. And they are opening up the call this month. It's Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. I invite you to get on the call, please. Again, you can get the link. Go to Remake Our World. I posted it in my stories today as well. And I'll post it again later today. I'll post it again tomorrow. But check out Remake Our World. If you'd like to get on the Global Ambassador call, Mara Hoffman's going to be there. Amazing designer. She's going to be there. Our founder, Asha Barenblatt, she's going to be there as well. But um, again, this is the kickoff for the No New Clothes Challenge. I invite you to get on the call. Again, it's free. Anybody can get on. They're opening it up. They're opening up the call beyond our remake community. Please, guys, get on. Yes, we are up to it. Awesome. Yes, thank you. Um, but again, guys, I'd love to see you on the remake call. You can learn more about their mission. And, and really, they're going to talk more in depth. And Mara Hoffman, the other people on the call, we have an environmental lawyer. Um, they're going to talk more about 
these really important reasons why every bit, every choice you make matters. And every bit you can take to make, or every step you can take rather, to be more, uh, to take more positive uh, measures on your fashion consumption for the environment. Uh, it's just every bit counts. Every bit counts. But um, all right, guys, uh, it's been about 30 minutes, and I always try and keep these way shorter than a half hour, so I apologize. Uh, that I'm still talking. Thank you guys so much for your comments. Please join me about a half hour. I'm gonna be out in my studio. No AC, we'll see. It's gonna be a show, I guarantee you, for my art demo. Um, that's on at Refashioned Art. And then at 5 p.m., I'm gonna do my live art tour happy hour. Um, I'm wearing my Barbie dress, guys. Designer treasure hunt, forever grateful to you, girl, for finding me that vintage dress. But I'm gonna have my cocktail dress on. I'm gonna have my drink, my cocktail in hand. I hope you will join me. Um, cocktail dress, not mandatory, but I think the cocktail, the week we've had, I think the cocktail might be mandatory today. Yeah, the cocktail might be mandatory. So, hey Kim, thank you girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, I needed that too. Um, so thanks guys. Again, check out Remake, check, check out Designer Treasure Hunt, check out Classic Reclaim. Um, these are people that are doing fashion for good. Also, if you're in Arizona tomorrow, Saturday, Conscious Collective, they are having a pop-up shop. So go to Conscious Collective um, US. I'm gonna put that on in my stories after, later today. Conscious Collective is doing a pop-up. So they've got coffee, they've got vintage, they've got designer resale, um, really good stuff. And then also tomorrow, the Garment League is also doing a pop-up. Uh, Tracy Thomas will be there um, selling her designs and Ruby Farias, another local designer I love. Friend of mine, she's gonna be there selling her designs. But check out the Garment League again. I'll have it in my stories today. That's tomorrow as well. Good stuff happening, guys. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say. So if you like my style, if you resonate with my message and you really care about the planet, please check out my website, IamLauraMadden.com. Um, my latest blog post, I'm talking a little bit more about the No New Clothes Challenge. But um, anyway, Campson, right back at you, girl. Oh yeah, right back at you. Thank you for being here. I'm running to get your drink. Kim, babe, I am, yeah, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for it, yes. Nix the granola, I'll take the drink. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I'll be back Monday here, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Campson, um, waiting for an update when we'll see you in your closet, babe. Uh, we need more positive style inspiration, positive fashion talk. All right, guys, I'm out. See you later. I'm gonna go sweat my butt off in my art studio doing my live right demo. Maybe I'll see you out there too. Bye-bye.